When it comes to wildlife encounters, it's better to take everything with a grain of salt. The usually non-aggressive moose can attack when under stress. Bears seen in the distance are never actually too far away. Even your average crow can try to claw your eyes out if you get too close to a nest full of its hatchlings. Knowledge can't always prevent us from making arguably avoidable mistakes in our interactions with nature. In this video, we'll look at one seasoned hiker's fatal encounter with a grizzly bear and at the absurd error that caused the man's demise. This story takes us to Denali National Park and Preserve, formerly known as Mount McKinley National Park, an astonishing Alaskan park centered on the highest mountain in North America, Denali. The landscape is a mix of almost everything. Forests at lowest elevations, tundra at middle elevations, glaciers and bare rock at the highest elevations. There are over 6 million acres of superb scenery, sheltering more than 450 species of flowering plants and numerous North American birds and mammals. Denali has hundreds of bears, both grizzlies and black bears, 13 wolf packs, thousands of caribou, Arctic foxes, martens, beavers, you name it. It's one of the most impressive national parks in the entire world. And for anyone who appreciates wilderness, Denali is nothing short of paradise. According to the National Park Service, there are over 600,000 visitors that venture to the park every year, but it never feels overcrowded thanks to how vast and remote the park is. This is why many lone adventure seekers choose Denali. They want the full experience, unadulterated by any other human presence, even if it could mean utter lack of protection against nature's apex predators. On August 24, 2012, 49-year-old Richard White was hiking near the Taklet River, the largest braided river that is crossed by the Denali Park Road. It wasn't Richard's first visit to Denali, and it certainly wasn't the only hiking trip he went on all by himself. Richard adored nature and always sought to witness and understand wilderness as it was, away from modern life or other people. He had a deep appreciation for even the smallest phenomena and felt comfortable with solitude, especially if it made possible the pursuit of knowledge and peace for the self. Like many of us, Richard White would feel the call of the wild every now and then. In order to soothe that part of him that wanted to get away from everything artificial, he'd spend days hiking, sleeping under the stars and observing nature. By August 24th, the man had already been backpacking alone for three days, and he had two more days of exploring left before returning to San Diego, California. His wife and his 21-month-old daughter were waiting for him back home and so did the prospect of changing his job. Richard was a successful man. He had been the director of exploratory pharmacology at Faring Pharmaceuticals, but was now looking for a change. Perhaps that's what brought him to Denali, the need to clear his head before starting another chapter of his life. Or maybe it had nothing to do with his job at all. Maybe it was just what a nature-loving adventurer does. There was nothing to be afraid of. After all, Richard had been on so many solo hikes before, and he always made it back home. But that was about to change. In a dramatic turn of events that would stain Denali National Park and preserve history forever. On that early August afternoon, Richard was hiking along the Taklet when he saw something of extraordinary beauty and power. Sure, he preferred exploring nature by himself, but that didn't mean he didn't want to share the astonishing aspects of his journeys with his family. That's why he always carried a camera on his trips. He most likely wanted to show his daughter pictures from his adventures one day. As soon as he saw the huge grizzly, Richard stopped in his tracks. He grabbed his camera and pointed it at the mighty bear, bewitched by its beauty, its enormous size, and the powerful grace the bear was exuding. There's nothing more impressive than an apex predator in its natural habitat. Then the grizzly really was a particularly fine specimen. It looked about 600 pounds, if not more, and it was completely oblivious to the man's presence. The bear was grazing in the willows, no more than 40 yards away from Richard White. The man knew enough about grizzlies to realize he was standing too close to the animal, but failed to back away. Perhaps he was too enchanted by the prospect of snapping some unusual shots. Perhaps he was simply mesmerized by standing so close to something wild and incredibly powerful. Or maybe it just slipped his mind. What we do know is that Richard White made no attempt at leaving. 
In hindsight, his complete lack of self-preservation instinct makes no sense. His 30 years of backpacking experience aside, Richard White had also taken the park's mandatory bear safety course, which included instructions on how to avoid disturbing bears and what to do if attacked. The course also strongly advised visitors to carry bear spray at least. Some of Denali's visitors choose to arm themselves with firearms, such as rifles, shotguns, and pistols. Richard White's only defense against a potential bear attack was a safety whistle and he completely disregarded one of the park's rules, which states visitors should keep a quarter mile distance from bears and slowly back away whenever they see one. At just about 40 yards away from the creature, Richard was 10 times closer to the grizzly than he should have been. As he snapped the 26 photos, Richard most likely didn't even think about his safety. Although he was only 40 yards away from a huge adult grizzly bear, the man spent eight minutes taking pictures, according to his camera. And the bear didn't seem to mind the man either, at least not for about seven and a half minutes. The first photo was taken at 12.58 p.m. Alaska time. For the most part, they were just regular snapshots of a bear foraging. However, the last of them was different and foreboding. It shows the bear staring directly at the photographer. Its stare definite and focused. The bear looked decidedly agitated. It got closer to the man. There are no witnesses who can say exactly what happened next, but it's pretty easy to piece it together nonetheless. The 600-pound grizzly charged at Richard White and struck him down almost immediately. In a split second, the experienced explorer turned into prey, and then he was dead, killed by the angry bear. A few hours after the attack, three hikers on a day trip found something that frightened them, signs of a struggle as well as a backpack torn clothing, and blood. So much blood. They didn't dare go further. Instead, the three returned to the Toklet River rest area, about three miles south from the gory scene. Park rangers were alerted at about 5.30 p.m. By 8.30 p.m., rangers had boarded a helicopter. During their flight, they spotted a large grizzly bear sitting on what looked like human remains. In fact, the beast had dragged what was left of Richard White in the underbrush, about 150 yards from the initial spot of the attack. It was most likely storing its prey away. The bear ran into the brush, frightened by the sound of the hovering helicopter. However, as rangers tried to reach the remains, the bear started circling them, and darkness was closing in. Two shots were fired at the animal, but they missed. To avoid any further potential danger, the rangers decided to leave and return the next day. It was a good sound decision. After all, the bear was guarding its food cache. And it wasn't only a bear anymore, it was a man-eater. On Saturday, August 25, 2012, the rangers returned and finally managed to recover Richard White's body. They were joined by wildlife troopers who shot and killed the grizzly from the helicopter. At 600 pounds, the bear was big for Denali. It was at least five years old and a necropsy revealed it was indeed the specimen responsible for Richard White's death. The area of the Denali backcountry where the attack occurred has been closed, prohibiting all hiking and camping in that area until further notice, and rangers actively work to prevent other park visitors from entering the area. Richard White's death was the first known fatal bear attack on a human in Denali National Park and Preserve's 90-year history and it remains so even now, 10 years after the gruesome incident. While bears usually attack if they're taken by surprise or if they feel like humans are threatening their food or cubs, it's better to be cautious under any circumstances, no matter whether you're an experienced explorer or not.